So I'm so happy and honored to be here. Uh, thank you very much. I'm very interested. Uh, we're looking for a lot of data scientists. Um, so um, it would be great if, you, if we can get in touch. Um, and we're building an amazing team, by the way. Uh, so I'm, I'm Julian. Um, I'm the founder and CEO of WeFox. Um, and um, we have uh, a perspective on insurance, um, uh, how insurance is going to change uh, over the next years. Um, and uh, essentially, if I go back, there we go. Um, so I'm not from insurance. Um, so my father has been in insurance his entire life. And that was the reason why I said I never want to have anything to do with insurance. Um, and I was uh, brought into the world of insurance more by coincidence, but at the very beginning, I sat down and said, okay, how can I become passionate about insurance? And I wrote down what are my first associations that I have with insurance. And the words popped up, it's complex, it's intransparent, it's inconvenient. And it was so difficult for me to find a path towards building real passion for this product. I think the future of insurance is going to be completely different. Uh, it's going to be driven by the consumer and it's going to be instant, convenient, simple and transparent, like all other areas of our life. Then, the whole nature of insurance is going to drastically change. The insurance product by nature is a non-engaging product. So, you enter a couple of variables, static variables, a couple of questions, then you get a price, you pay a premium, you forget what's in the insurance policy, and then, when something bad happens, in the best case, you get the money back. So it's financial compensation from uncertain risk. And the IoT data revolution will change every industry in the next five years. But insurance will be impacted really drastically. And we're going to be able to have access to unlimited amount of variables from IoT devices in real time. And what this means is we can assess the risk an individual is in with so much approx uh, approximation in real time that insurance is going to change from being reactive to being proactive. And it's going to be able to tell our consumers when they're about to engage in a risk, prevent them from taking risks. And this is the beauty of the industry of the future that really makes me passionate. And insurance is mainly sold by human beings today in non-digital processes. The future is going to be very different. We're going to need humans, and I'm going to show you how we integrate humans into our business model, but they're going to be seamlessly integrated into a fully digital customer experience. So what have we built? So we started off in 2015. And we, by now, we're located here in Berlin. We have 260 people, approximately. We're going to be live in actually eight uh, countries this year. We have around 1,700 brokers on the WeFox platform. And we have around 400,000 customers. So WeFox, I'm going to explain, as our distribution channel for insurance. And then we have launched our own insurance company last year. Fully licensed insurance carrier, active in Germany, with now 90,000 customers already. Very fast growing. And I'm going to explain you a little bit about that. And we have some amazing investors on board. Very lucky to have them on board. Raised a total of 150 million euros so far um, and are just at the beginning. So let's first go into WeFox. So WeFox is really based on the hypothesis of insurance being sold by human beings. And that's the truth. So 91% of all insurance premium globally is sold from one human to another. It's only 9% sold direct. 10 years ago, the experts were saying the number of direct sales would be at least double. It's not. 50% via independent brokers. And these independent brokers manage three billion customers, 15 million independent brokers managing 3 billion customers globally. It's a $510 billion market opportunity. And these guys worked like in the pre-internet era. No standardized processes and no great customer experience for their customers. So we said this is the angle that we're going to enter the market with. And that's what we did. So essentially, we built a solution for brokers. So brokers bring their customers onto our platform. 
their customers receive an app where they see all of their policies, whether it's in life, in health, or in PNC, and they can now edit the policies uh, in, the, uh, in their single point of contact. They can make claims. They can close new policies in a, uh, in a, in a self-service process. But if things become more complicated, like they do in insurance, because you have to ask yourself questions like, what happens to my family if I might get disabled and cannot work anymore? What happens if I might not be able to provide for my family anymore? What happens to our future together when we're old? Can we actually realize the dreams that we plant? So these type of questions, sensitive questions, you will need an expert. You will need a trusted expert. And you can just, via click, get your trusted expert into the digital customer experience straight away. But for brokers, it's not just managing of their existing customers, it's also bringing new customers from their direct proximity into their customer base. So the broker gets a new customer, it's automatically scheduled in his, uh, uh, in his schedule, into his calendar. He doesn't need to prepare the meeting, it's automatically prepared for him. He doesn't need to drive to the customer, he's connected via a video conference. So he enters his portal in the morning, sees 10 appointments from one that he had before, and he uh, now clicks onto the customer, looks at the preparation, connects to him, clicks on a button, sends him the offer, and the customer can sign digitally. This way, the broker can manage up to 10 times more customers than before. We believe the broker will stay relevant, but it will be much less brokers managing much more customers. And this is a bit of numbers. So in the first 12 months on our platform, we increased the broker customer base from 300 to around 450. We increase the margin because we're positioned as a broker pool. The more business via our platform, the better margin. And essentially, we take a 30% cut and still double the broker's revenue on average after 12 months on our platform. Generate a better customer experience, generate a better broker productivity, more revenue for the broker, happier customers. But let's look at the insurance companies. So essentially, we have asked ourselves, what do we do uh, with our platform in order to create a win-win-win situation? So today we have a great value proposition for the consumer, the single point of contact. We have a great value proposition for the independent broker, which is doubling revenues in the first 12 months on our platform. But with our business model, the stronger we get, the better we can negotiate terms with insurance companies, the lower the margin of the insurance company. So what we said is, how about we give you a fully digital interface to the WeFox platform where you can analyze customers, where you can then figure out what are interesting cohorts of customer groups you want to target, where you can then, in a product builder, put together your own products and then run a real-time sales campaign on the WeFox platform. So a real-time access to the strongest uh, um, sales channel in insurance purely uh, based on data. They liked it but we realize it's much tougher to build that interface than the customer and the broker interface. And we realize that we need to be very close to the insurance partner that we're building that with. And we figured out that the only way to do it is launch our own insurance company and be a role model and show the integration possibilities possible and the success possible via launching our own insurance company on the WeFox platform fully integrated. The role of one is building an integration that enables other insurance companies to profit from that integration and integrate into digital distribution channels like WeFox. And what we have built with one is how insurance today should be, which is instant, real time, which is SLA driven, which is claim feedback. Claims are the service delivery moment of insurance. Just imagine I go to McDonald's, I order a burger and I pay for it, and then the guy comes back and gives me half a burger. And I'm just like, I paid for a full burger, right? So we have to take this serious, and we are. And one is fully and seamlessly integrated into the WeFox platform, one is only going indirect, not direct like other competitors, only indirect. And we're doing this because A, we have a larger addressable market, B, we have a lower customer acquisition cost than via direct channels, and C, we have a much better loss ratio, and we've been testing all channels via direct. 
we have come to the conclusion that indirect is the way to go. And D, by the way, and we're seeing that now, the churn is lower, the lifetime is longer. Much more interesting approach to enter the market. But really what we're about is creating the future of insurance. And the future of insurance is driven by the IoT data revolution. We've seen the first data revolution, which was the book printing. It has changed our world, but over a very long period of time. We've seen the second data revolution, the internet. 20 years, everything has changed. Now we see the third data revolution, the IoT data revolution. Five years, next five years, more is going to change than the last 20 years. Change is driven by the amount of generated data. And that is exponential. And the impact on insurance is that insurance is going to turn away from a reactive to a proactive service. And with one from the very beginning, we said we're going to create insurance products that are prepared for this future. And in order to do so, we have to make sure that we modularize insurance products. So let's take an accident coverage, for example. An accident coverage consists of a lot of different micro-modules. So let's take out the bike accident coverage as an example. So this theoretically can be insured by itself. So now we want this to be timestamp, not like the other insurance companies are doing it with monthly, yearly, sometimes three-year-long contracts, but second-based contracts. So you only want to be insured while you're on the bike, theoretically. And you don't want to get out your phone and activate your insurance before getting on the bike and deactivate when you get off. No, you want to have that automatic. So it's IoT triggered. So ti modularization, timestamp, IoT to connectivity, this is the fundament that we're building our insurance products on so that insurance products can actually merge to the actual risk in your life. I thank you very much uh, for um, your attention. Uh, I wish you a great um, conference, uh, and I'm happy to take uh, any questions after this. Thanks a lot.